my friends. Here we go. We are on day number five, and we're going to be working through the Pac-Man treasure hunt on the terminal. I'm excited to do this one. I've never done this one before, so I'm pretty hyped to figure this out. I think it seems pretty sweet to learn some basic ethical hacker skills. It's going to get you familiar with the terminal, and we're going to have some fun by trying to find all the treasures and things that come with the game of Pac-Man. So in this project that's on the Raspberry Pi website, we're going to be introduced to how to hack the terminal to find all Pac-Man's ghosts. We're going to learn how to run a script. We're going to find ghosts and then quarantine them by creating our own safe directory. We're going to learn about malware by inspecting ghost files and getting rid of them. And then we're also then going to collect enough treasure points to complete the treasure hunt. This is such a great way of teaching and learning, this kind of gamification, so to speak, to our learning. And so as you think about it as an educator, how do we create these types of scenarios? Or how do we find these resources to do this kind of work with students besides just trying to walk them through a monotonous way of understanding, you know, whatever computer science concept it is that we are after. So here we go. The mission itself allows us to be Pac-Man, and we need to go through and find the nasty viruses. In this case, they're going to be the ghosts. So it's a pretty cool way to kind of understand that concept of a virus on a computer. And so we have to catch them all. And so we're going to have to do that using the command line. And so how do we do that? What is the command line? The command line, as it tells you on the project, is a text interface for your computer that you can give commands to the computer operating system. And there's so many things that we can do with that. This is also called your terminal on the Raspberry Pi. That's this icon right here. So we're going to go ahead and click this to open up the terminal. And you can see we have it right here for us to be able to navigate. I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. So hopefully it's easier for us to see here. I'm going to go ahead and enlarge this just a little bit more. There we go. That hopefully is better for you to see and access here on this video. And so what we want to do, we can click, as we said here on this icon. Another way to do that is you can always just go to your Raspberry. As you know, it can do everything. And accessories, you would find terminal there as well. So whatever you prefer. It doesn't really matter how we access the terminal. We just need to get it going there. And so what we need to do is we have to first download the file to do the treasure hunt so that this file is going to unleash, as they say, the Pac-Man ghost. And so don't worry, not real viruses. It's not going to corrupt your system. It's not going to ruin anything. Um, and so we're going to be using and downloading some files very easily using Bash. And what Bash is is a computer that listens to your commands and does what it tells you to do. Um, and so let's go ahead and do this. And so we see here in our terminal the Pi at Raspberry Pi, our colon, and we see this little... Uh, dollar sign and this is our shell prompt and so this lets us know that it, the terminal is ready to accept a command and what we're going to do is we're going to type in or you can copy and paste if it's easier for you to copy and paste to work um, we're going to go I'm going to go ahead and paste that command that was in there from before to get that code running let's see here Looks like it's trying to connect here, so I need to wait here a minute. Okay, so we're waiting for all of this to download. You're getting a bunch of text. Don't let that uh, stress you out or bother you. We're going to go ahead and let all this run here. Just let it go. It's going to go ahead and get everything inserted here. Now you can see here, now that we have the command and the, the, the code installed on a Raspberry Pi to do this treasure hunt, we are now able to go ahead and do some of this work. So let's go ahead and move to the next step to move around the Raspberry Pi. And now that you've been able to move around the Raspberry Pi, it is time to catch our first ghost. So let's go ahead and make this stuff happen. So what I want to do is I want to get back out of here. I don't want to be in documents anymore. So I'm going to go to CD space dot dot. That's going to kick me back to the home screen. All right. As you can see here. Um, 
And then what I want to do from here is I want to make a new directory. So mkdir is a command for make directory, and we want to type in quarantine backslash. And when we do that, all right, it's going to make a folder. Now I just did this a little bit ago, so it's telling me that I can't create this directory because it already exists. So now if I go to ls for our list, you're going to see that I now have quarantine listed right here. And now that we have that folder added, it's now letting us to go through and find our first ghost. And so it's telling us we need to get into our documents directory. So do you remember how to do that? If you do, go ahead and do so. If not, here it is. You're going to type in cd for change directory. And we're going to type in documents backslash. And that's going to take us now. We can see the document directory right here with the dollar sign. And now what we need to do is we need to see if we can find all the files within this directory. So what's that command again? Ah, uh, you got it, you got it, it's ls for list. And now that we do that, see, ooh, we got something different in here. We got something we didn't normally have. We've got funky text and we've got spooky text. And so we need to go ahead and figure this out. And so we're gonna look through this here. We got this spooky text, which is gonna represent a virus. And we found it and so we need to go ahead and figure this out so what you notice here is how the spooky has these numbers in there versus the letter OO we have zero zero and so sometimes we see this to keep with searches and we're looking for things and so let's go ahead and move this ghost into our quarantine folder now, what we can do with this, this is a new command for us as we do this work. And what we're going to type is CP for copy. So we're going to copy, and then whatever we put in after this is going to copy that file. So in our case, we're going to put in copy. Now, remember, that was 0, so we want that 0, 0 there, not the, the, num the numbers or letters OO. And we're going to put text, because that's the name of the file. We're going to put a space here. Now we're going to add the little tilde. All right, and we have to tell it where we want it to go. So this is going to tell us that we're going to copy that file to our quarantine folder. And now when we go ahead and do that, all right, it's going to tell us that it's now in there. And if you want to double check, if you're not quite comfortable yet with the command all right we can go ahead and go to our file manager and if we go to documents all right we can see here's the funky and spooky and then if we go to our quarantine folder we should now have spooky in there and there it is so if you just need to kind of check to see how that works sometimes this is a little bit better visual for people as you're getting used to the terminal so I'll keep this up for the next part. Now what we need to do is we need to remove that ghost. We need to remove this spooky document. And you can see if I open this up here, all right. Ooh, Galaxian Boss, Grapes and Cherry. Oh, there's something in there. Okay. What we need to do here is we need to remove that file. So we want to delete that file from our directory. And we want to move it out of documents. So this is a very important command that you need to be careful using because if you type in this command and actually use it, all right, it will clear out that directory. It will delete it. So this is a, a good one, but one to be cautious of as you use it. So RM stands for remove, and what it does is it deletes files and directories. And we're going to go ahead and we want to remove that spooky text file from our document folder. So I've got document folder pulled up right here just so you can see that and now when I hit enter it's gone and it has disappeared out of that folder. Note I have a copy still here in quarantine but in my document folder that's now no longer there. So now we need to go ahead and catch the rest of the ghost in this challenge. So we are to the catch all ghost segment of this project and so now what we need to do is we have to move around a Raspberry Pi system and we have to catch and quarantine as many of these ghosts as we can. 
And so the things that we're going to need to be able to use, remember we have the ls for list, the pwd for print working directory, uh, the cd for change directory, and the cd space dot dot takes it, moves you from one subfolder to its parent folder. All right. And we can continue to go there by making directories and copying files and removing files. So our task is to find these other ghosts, copy them to the quarantine folder, and then remove them. So don't remove them before you copy them over. And then you can always go to your quarantine folder here to make sure we've got them all. So there are seven ghosts total. So we need to go ahead and find them as we go through here. So what are we going to do? All right. We've already looked in our desktop or our document folder. So I'm going to go ahead and go back to CD space dot dot. All right. It's going to take us back here. Let's go to our list and um, let's look in uh, bookshelf. So I'm going to go CD here to change directory. And I'm going to type in bookshelf. Okay. And then I want a list. I want to see what's all in there. All right. It doesn't look like there's much there. So we're going to go ahead and bounce out. Oh, CD space dot dot. All right. Um, I can change directory. And I can see right here, actually on my desktop, we've got, we've got pinky. I can see that on my desktop. So let's go ahead and go to our desktop here. And we're going to go to desktop. All right, I'm going to go to list, and now I can see my file. I got my wallpaper directory, I got pinky in here, and I've got boring, which I know um, is not one that um, I need to worry about. So now we need to go through and we need to copy that folder, right? Or we need to copy that file. So I'm going to go to CP for copy, all right, and then we want to let's see here what do we got let's, let's got how do we remember that oh that's right we need to do the file name so capital p i capital n lowercase k capital y then dot text for the type of file okay and then we need to do the little tilde backslash quarantine and we're going to copy it over to the quarantine folder let's see if we did this right here Okay, so I'm going to go to my quarantine. All right, I can see I've got pinky right here. So that's good. And we're going to then want to go ahead and remove it. If we remove it, this should be deleted now off of that file. So if I go to RM, all right, then I go I think just like that, right? Boom. That one's gone. So we've got two Okay, so now we got to go ahead and find some others. I'm not going to go back to the parent page every single time. We've done bookshelf. We've done desktop. We've done documents. So maybe we can go to here and we can go to downloads. Let's see. Change directory. Oh, we do need to go back one, don't we? Hmm, didn't let us go. So I have to go back. Now if I change directory... To downloads let's see what's in there and I go to list that LS I don't see anything in downloads okay so let's go ahead now and we will bounce back out of here CD space dot dot let's try uh, music you can see I'm just kind of working through my files here in a, in a linear fashion I've got a Sue text. I'm not sure. Let's go ahead and check that here. I'm not sure if that's one or not. Is Sue a name of a ghost? I bet she is. So I actually don't know the name of ghosts. So uh, this is important for me to know. Maybe I should I should look that up here. So let's see. Um, the name of Pac-Man ghost. Sorry, this is a squirrel here, right? This is what happens when you're a nerd like myself and I get fascinated by, like, ooh, what are the actual um, names here? We got Blinky, Pinky, Inky, Clyde, Other Ghost. What is that? Oh, there's Sue right there. 
wow, there's a lot of different ghosts here. Okay, I digress. All right, so we need to now, what, copy this, CP. All right, we're going to go su.text, space, and then we have to do the tilde, backslash, the quarantine, if I can spell that right. Quarantine, backslash, we're going to copy that there. Let's make sure Su made it over. Su is there, so we can now go here and we can remove, all right, dot text and I think we should have her out of there let's go and double check here list the list there's nothing there I could also go to music and double check boom she's out of there all right so let's go ahead and change directory again and I'm sticking with the terminal just so you're I'm getting familiar with writing these commands and so that's what we want to be able to do um, as we do this work and so we've got three down let's go ahead and go to pictures now and I'm gonna list oh we've got uh, looks like blinky but spelled with a number eight here so I'm just gonna go ahead and so we don't have to keep clicking back and forth here and all these things this will be a little bit hopefully a little bit easier so that's pictures there's blinky all right, so we want to copy Blinky with an 8 instead of a B, Blinky.text. And then we got the tilde, backslash, quarantine, backslash. If we do that, let's make sure there's Blinky. And then we can go ahead, oop, and we want to make sure that's in pictures here that Blinky is going to be removed. So we're going to remove Blinky text and that should remove that one. All right. So we now have four. All right. So we're going to go ahead and do this change directory dot dot. All right. We did what we, we were just in pictures. So let's go ahead and go look in public and let's see what's there. List. Nothing. Okay. We're going to go ahead and change directory to, let's look at templates. All right, looks like we got an inky there spelled with the number one. So CP, let's see, one NKY dot text tilde backslash. Quarantine backslash. All right, and then we want to remove and We're gonna go ahead and check that we'll go down here to templates that one's gone. All right, so We've got Two more right so let's look at change directory to videos the list, nothing in videos. All right, so I'm just gonna go over here and looks like we've got five. Oh, I forgot to look at Python games. So let's go ahead and do that. I see Clyde in there. I know Clyde is a, a ghost for sure. I know Clyde. So we're gonna change directory to Python. I wasn't sure if they would have put the viruses in folders that I created randomly. So I want to go ahead and I see that they have. So that's that's good to know. This one is all caps. So text backslash quarantine backslash. Let's see if I got Clyde over there. There's Clyde. So let's go ahead and remove Clyde.text. And that was in Python games. So let's make sure Clyde is gone. All right. So what would be our last one? Which one haven't we done? Look at it. We got desktop. Oh, it would be in wallpapers. No. Okay. I was just checking here. I'm not sure where our other one is. Oh, documents. Did we not remove? Is funky? 
Was Funky one? That seems weird. That seems like a random name. Let's see. Oh yeah, that's that's definitely in there. Okay. So let's go ahead and change directories here. And we're gonna change it to documents. Just to double check, there's funky text right there. So we're gonna go ahead and copy backslash to oh we want to copy funky.text to quarantine. Let's make sure Funky is in there. We now have seven, so that's nice. We have reached the end of all of those. Then we're gonna remove Funky text. There we go. Let's make sure Funky's out of there. Funky is gone. Whew. All right, so if we go to quarantine, there they all are. There's all seven of them, sweet. So now we can move on to the next step here of find the treasure. And it tells us now that we've found all the ghosts and put them in safe. So let's go ahead and I can show you what this looks like here. We're in find the treasure. So now that we've found all the ghosts and put them in a safe folder, they cannot damage our computer. We need to look inside the files to collect our treasure. So here's all the treasure you can collect and the points when you get when you find the treasure. So all these things are in those folders. So what it's going to ask us to do here is to navigate to our quarantine directory and list the content of all the things so let's go ahead and get out of there we're gonna do the CD space dot dot all right we're gonna change directory to quarantine all right and we're then we're going to list and we can see them all right here inky blinky Clyde funky pinky spooky and sue and we've got them all right there. All right, so now what we want to do is it's going to tell us we want to see what treasure we got um, from catching Spooky. So if we do that here, I kind of pull this up so you can take a look at where I'm at here in the, in the challenge. We're going to be right here. All right, so in order to view a text file, we have to type cat followed by a full name of the file in the terminal window. That's kind of weird. Um, cat, that's a new one, right? So let's do it. Go ahead and try that. So we're going to go cat sp00ky.txt. And there it is. It tells us what we've got the Galaxian boss, grapes, and cherry. And we can see down here in the scratch program below click on the treasure you found inside Spooky to tally up your points and repeat. The last three instructions to collect treasure from all of your ghost files. So I'm interested here with this scratch program right here. So I think we need to go, I've got Galaxian Boss. I've got Grapes. I'm assuming that would be that this. And a Cherry. Let's just see. Yep, grapes is a thousand. Boss. There's our cherry. Okay, all right, all right. And we want to go ahead and do that for the other ones. So I'm going to go cat. I'm just going to work through my list in order so I, know I can follow along. You can see that I've got them all listed right here. So I'm just going to follow that. All right, so cat, inky text. So I'm going to go ahead and give myself an apple key and a peach and then I'm gonna go cat eight all right I get a strawberry a cherry and a bell okay we need to do Clyde Next, so Galaxian Boss, Grapes, and Cherry. All right, now we got to do Funky. Peach, 
cherry key. All right, now we got pinky here, P I N K Y dot text. So we got apple, strawberry, cherry. All right, so we've done spooky, so the last is Sue. So we got Bell. Galaxian Boss and Peach. All right, there we go. So I think if I checked everything right, we should have everything um, captured. I think I got them all. I don't know. Well, but anyways, I will go ahead here. I'm going to capture a screenshot of this so I can share that. I feel like maybe I should be at 28,000. I'm not sure, but that's what we've got. Let's go ahead and now we should be able to go forth now and we want to remove the quarantine folder. All right, so now we have to go ahead and rid ourselves of the quarantine folder. All right. So we need to delete the entire quarantined folder without copying any of the files in it. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and do that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try this remove. Let's just see if this works. We can see there's some commands there. I could, one, I could just right click, all right? and try to get rid of it that way. I could drag this to the trash possibly, but I want to use this. So if I go RM, okay, so you can see that we can do more than just one file. And if I scroll up here, we did RM before, there it is. So I think I'm going to have to go backslash Q U A R quarantine. And let's see what this does. Ooh, that didn't work. Okay, so maybe I should look at here how to remove a directory. Let's see what it tells us. I tried to do it without instructions, but I wasn't successful. All right, so we're going to go to, oh, look at this. Remove directory is a different command. Hmm. It says the command rm removes a specified file or recursively from a directory. Let's try this. Let's let's try it. I don't know if it's going to work. This is this is new to me. I'm not sure. So, remove directory. Do I let's just see if I can go like this. Quarantine. No, nope, that didn't work. You know what? I wonder if I have to get out of this. I'm in the quarantine folder. So maybe I should go like this. Now I'm back to the home page. Let's let's try that again here. Remove directory. Oh, it tells me my directory is not empty. Okay, so we're going to have to remove these files. So maybe we got to remove those first. So rm1nky.txt. All right, so we're going to change directories, and we have to go back to the quarantine folder. All right, now we're going to remove inky.txt. We're going to remove 8blinky.txt. We're going to remove cly.txt. We're going to remove funky.txt. And we're going to remove pinky.txt. We're going to remove 
spooky.txt. Typed that in wrong, didn't I? S P zero zero K Y dot. And we're gonna remove Sue dot text. And we're gonna go here back out. And now let's remove directory quarantine. I think we might have lost it. Did we do it? Let's see. Let's see. Quarantine has been removed. Everything is cleared out of our directory. So we have done it. That's awesome. Woo! So that's a lot of learning. But that was a pretty cool way to learn about the terminal and some of the basic commands and how to organize and flow through that. So when we do other projects in the future using the terminal, you're learning some basic commands of how to access directories and files uh, within your Raspberry Pi. So congratulations on that. Um, what you're going to be doing, if you didn't already do it, screenshot your score in that Scratch game, embed it on the website, and share that over on the Slack channel. Let us know your thoughts, your new learning, what you're excited that you learned about, and I can't wait to hear all about your new learning opportunities that just came. And when you are ready, feel free to move on to day number six.